Across the country, the term defund the police has become a rallying cry of sorts. And like many in other states, equality activists right here in Tulsa have been peacefully protesting, asking the city to look into reallocating some of the annual police department budget. They want the money to go to other community resources like mental health, drug abuse, and education programs, a process being called defunding police departments. Two Works For You's Dane Hawkins spoke with one local activist who believes in this concept so much, he's using it as a key part of his platform in his campaign to be Tulsa's next mayor. Peaceful protests across the country, like the ones in Tulsa, have been calling for change in police departments. For some activists like Greg Robinson, that includes defunding the police. We want to divest in enforcement so that we can invest in the people in communities that need it the most. Robinson and fellow activists like Nate Morris believe changing where some city money goes could cut down on police calls. If we put money into projects that would provide folks access to more jobs, provide folks access to better education, provide folks struggling with mental health more access to resources, undoubtedly that would not only reduce issues of crime, but it would reduce the burden on our current police force. But not everyone thinks that's a good idea. But call me old fashioned. I think you may actually want a police officer to stop a criminal and arrest him before we try to work through his feelings. Activists say reallocating could prevent some criminals from even being created. We'd be addressing these issues on the front end. We wouldn't be waiting and being reactive instead of being proactive. But across the country, others are concerned about what it could cost for communities. You're going to go after salaries and benefits? You're not going to hire the good police officer. Look at it's hard time right now hiring good police officers. To which activists say... Defunding the police is not talking about... Uh, us living in a city where we're not protected. It's saying that we need to take a look and correct our priorities. Right now, we know that officers are asked to wear a hundred different hats. And part of the reason is because we're not adequately funding areas of mental health, we're not adequately funding community projects, we're not adequately funding other things that can prove to be preventative measures. Which is why activist Greg Robinson is moving his fight to the polls. I'm standing here saying, if we have the courage as a city to move, then I want to be uh, standing right there with us uh, as our mayor. Dane Hawkins, two works for you. Dane, thank you. The Tulsa FOP tells us they will release a statement Friday about the defunding police concept. So stay with us as we continue to follow that development on air through our app and, of course, on our website, kgrh.com.